We are now live. What's going on, Vibers? Thank you guys Hi. for tuning in to episode eight of Kickback. My name is Monty. I'm Sonia. And today, and today we have the pleasure of vibing with Chloe Martini. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah, we used them. <laughs> <laughs> so to start it off. <laughs> so just, you want to start us off, Sonia? Or? <clears throat> you want to ask your question or like that one? Go ahead. Okay. The random question. All right, so we like to start off with a very, you know, question I'm sure all the fans are very curious about. Um, now, if you had two choices, would you bungee jump or skydive? Skydive. Definitely skydive? Definitely. Like, yeah, 100% sure. <laughs> but, with, but with an instructor. Skydiving is like boring, kind of. But yes, yeah, skydiving is more dangerous for me, I think. And would, yeah. would you I want to do it with an instructor? Um, yeah, for the first time. <laughs> for the first time, not, not alone, of course. Yeah, I did it with an instructor. It was pretty scary. But he knew everything that he was doing, so it was like I felt comfortable. You know? have, have you ever skydived or no? I have, but not by myself. I would be way too scared to do it. Yeah. What about you, Monty? Have I you have done not. it? I have not. I Which have I'm, I'm still debating. Yeah. But I, I need to. Yeah. yeah. That's, it's something you definitely have to do before you, you know, in your lifetime, for sure. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Definitely. Well, to jump right in, of course, how did you get started in music? Uh, uh, again, sorry? How did you get started in music? How? Uh, well, it was when, I guess I was around 15, and then, because uh, when I was 8, I uh, had some piano classes, and actually I hated it so much, mm -hmm. and I dropped it after 5 years. I was in music school and yeah, it was hard times actually. I hate playing Bach and Mozart and that kind of classical stuff. But then uh, when I was a teenager around 15, I kind of started composing my own music on piano and it sort of came like in orchestral music uh, when I could uh, also uh, compose some strings piano and well yeah stuff like that it sounded like a score music sort of mm -hmm. and yeah from that I started making electronic later and developed music the kind of music I'm making today but yeah it all started with with piano and classical music actually so you just added it on after that you did piano and then you know did more strings and after that exactly. did other time. Yeah, and then one friend showed me a software which I'm still using and it's called Fruity Loops. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then I fell in love with so many different genres and I try to experiment as much as I can. So that's what I'm what I'm doing. So have you always been into right. um, the electronic music or is that something you picked up when you were trying to make it? Well, I back in the day I was into dubstep music and drum and bass, and yeah, I was also into hardcore, into metal. I I guess I was into all kind of music. Yeah, and, it's everything. Yeah, I think like uh, simple electronic music was always mm, the closest to 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 what I feel. And yeah, that's how I can describe it. I guess. Oh, nice, nice. Well, yeah, I can definitely um, understand when you're talking about film scores. Um, like a lot of your your earlier tracks, like your song "Morning," definitely had a completely film. Yeah, score and I, I saw you you liked this track, I guess, yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's cool. Yeah, so yeah, I, I started with that kind of music, and actually, I'm trying to combine electronic music with some orchestral strings right now. I still haven't released those tracks, but they probably will be on my future EP, so. Nice. Cool. Nice. Do you still do, like, orchestra, or do you just do mostly electronic now? Uh, both, actually. Yeah. It depends on my music. Like, electronic music is more nostalgic, you know, mm -hmm. like that. So it depends. 
So when you, as far as like when you start to make music, let's say for the film scoring part, like do you have a movie in mind or do you just you just feel it and you just start adding more to it? The second, I just feel it and I just add more instruments, what I just have in mind, and I don't control it. Just uh, I just after I create this track piece of some or something, then I try try to um, see some images. To the sound. Right. That's it. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fun that's so yeah. <laughs> that's <cool. laughs> so where did the name oh, Chloe Martini come from? Because uh, yeah. I know that's not true. <laughs> that's not your real name. Well, uh, your real name is Anna, right? Yeah, my real name is Anna. Okay. Uh, do you want to know my surname and how to pronounce it? <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was looking at yeah, the... I was curious, but I didn't, I didn't want to mess it up. I really didn't want to mess it up. Okay, so let me tell my name with Polish accent. So, my name is Anna Zmiewska. Anna Anna Zmiewska. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay. The best we can do. Right. Yeah. Okay, so about Chloe Martini. So... Um, well, when I was setting up my SoundCloud account, uh, I still haven't got the name, and I was in my room, and I just knew that I wanted to have like name and a surname, like some some sort of alter ego, and I was looking around my uh, room, and I saw a bottle bottle of perfume named Chloe, and also a bottle of martini, and I thought. <laughs> And that's how Chloe Martini uh, was born. Yeah, that's so. Amazing. So perfume and a and martini. Do, yeah, do exactly. you think that? But that's your alter ego, so that wouldn't like describe who you are. You know what uh, I mean? Like it's not like. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think like that that people like it, and it's catchy name actually. Like people remember it. It's not hard to to to, to remember. So I like it. It was an accident, but I. Uh, I like it. Yeah. So far. Do you ever introduce yourself as Chloe Martini to people? Uh, no, but uh, I was at the party uh, like two weeks ago, and there were some people uh, I didn't know. Uh, I was introducing myself by my name, but my friend told those people that I was Chloe Martini, and they were like, "OMG, we know you!" And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so probably I should start. Uh, introducing myself as Chloe, it, yeah. Okay. Maybe some people will recognize me. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but it, it's it's still weird to call myself Chloe, but maybe I will get used to it. <laughs> right, because people don't really know how you look like, because it's not like your pictures are out out there. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Well, after this, um, after this webcam. Yeah, webcast, yeah. I, I have some. Videos like from my gig and some sort of that thing, but not like real pictures, like portfolio pictures or something. Yeah. I just hate taking pictures of myself. That's it. I saw unapologetic. So, well, <laughs> we have you right on here on video, so the world can see Chloe hey, Martini. Exactly. <laughs> Visual Vibes presents. <laughs> right. So, how's the music scene in, in in Warsaw? Like, how how has like the community been towards your music? Uh, well, actually, this year, um, I think it was it started kind of this year. Um, it's starting to get better and better, and like people, thanks to I guess it's also thanks to some YouTube channels like Majestic, which is of course most popular. People start to know this kind of I would call it SoundCloud genre music <laughs> because <laughs> that is like electronic with chill and trap, but still like you can recognize artists artists who are from SoundCloud from those. Uh, let's say mainstream popular artists, yeah, with big record labels and that stuff. <laughs> and yeah, uh, those this music is kind of cool to dance to and to go to parties and chill out and that stuff. So it's kind of getting better and better in Warsaw, but still it's not like in France or in 
London. Yeah. But so, I hope this, this, will, this will be this will change. Because now like most popular music in, in Poland in Warsaw it's probably deep house, techno and yeah, pop, of course. So a lot of people aren't on SoundCloud like <clears throat> in Poland. Not not too many actually. No. Okay. No. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. But it is growing. We don't have that many, that many music producers in in Poland. I would I would rather say that we have plenty DJs. Okay. <laughs> True. Yeah. I don't know Hey, well that's good though. I mean, you're able to still grow up your name as the you know one of the main uh, artists from coming out of Poland. So. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're definitely doing it for sure. Um. So I know a few months back, like around May, you released, was that your first EP? Uh, yeah. Fair Love? Okay. Yeah, it was my first EP. Not my solo EP, it was with All Souls, the duo from, from Holland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So first first was... only EP for now. <laughs> right, right. So how was it collaborating? Like... Uh, well, um... Actually, it was me who asked uh, All Souls to, to collaborate. Actually, it started like we, went, we wanted to make like only one collaboration track. But after we did this one track, we decided to make another. And then the idea came to uh, make Holy P. And yeah, it's like two tracks, two collaboration tracks and two separate tracks. So it's four tracks P. Good, so sense. that's it. That's it. And actually, work. I love working with other producers. I know it's kind of hard doing it via internet, but it's great because I can learn from them so much. Uh, each producer have different has different um, style of producing, and yeah, I'm learning a lot. So I'm very grateful to have them. How long did it take for you to to make your EP? Uh, it's it it depends. It totally depends on first of all inspirations, second of all time, and how much spare time I have, and yeah, and the concept also, I guess. If it's like um, if I have the concept, it's it's actually it's hard for me to stick to the concept. I prefer to. You know, go with the flow mostly. Right. So, what was your inspiration for when you did Spare Love? Uh, for Spare Love, uh, well, also uh, sent me one uh, unfinished track of them. So, the first track we've made was Let Me Go Up. And I really like the track. And yeah, it sort of has this uh, very chilled mood. And Mm. Who's <laughs> shouting there? <laughs> My mom. <laughs> Stella, mama is calling you. <laughs> sorry. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, living at home with the family. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, this first track was so chilled and so, like, it has the flow, I would say. I really don't know how to describe it, actually. Not even, even in Polish. Uh, but yeah, we kept it very, very slow and very chilled, like music to, you know, roll a joint and sit uh, and have and a coffee relax. Yeah. and relax. That's just it. Let it go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I feel, I mean, the very first song I heard of yours was Can't Stop. Which I think is also part of the EP. Actually, um, that's not my track. <laughs> that isn't. No, it's it's also a track because this EP has uh, four tracks. Uh, two mm -hmm. tracks are uh, our collaborations, and two tracks are separate. So my track. Oh, are, I wasn't sure. Can't stop. Uh, but I know many people are confused with that, and they think that I also made these tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah, but I also think that this is this is like the best track from the EP. <laughs> so it's a shame it isn't mine. 
Nah. So what about, are you working on any solo EPs though? Yes, I'm working actually on two EPs. Uh, one EP will be released with Polish label because I feel like yeah, since I'm Pole, uh, I should do something with also a Polish label. Um, but I'm also working on another EP. It will have some baby making music. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I still don't know who will release it actually. Um, okay. I just started this concept. That's good. You're doing it with the Polish label, though. You're getting your music out there. You know, you were saying that not that many people in Poland are. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's why I decided to 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 release something with Polish label to, you know, uh, to make people know me. So it's gonna be solo. Yeah, solo. Both albums, solo albums. Like yeah. short piece, like I don't know, three or four tracks. That's it. Okay. Cool. Okay, I mean, hey, people are still going to appreciate anything, even if it's just one, you know what I mean? So, people are going to yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, have ever seen one track EP. <laughs> now, that would be pretty interesting, though. I mean, I'd make it stand down. <laughs> yeah. Definitely make it stand out. It's funny. Mm. So, when you go about creating this track, like, where's your mindset? Or is, like... You know what I mean? Like, like, where do you go? Like, is there a certain type of vibe you have to set in like your room or the atmosphere? Or yeah, like, I, like, oh, to, to I need a drink. I need. I see you have yeah. your little studio, right? Uh, is that your studio? Yeah, thing? sort of. Actually, I have like two two places. Sometimes I'm in Warsaw uh, at my flat, but for now I'm uh, at my parents. Uh, it's like one hour away from from Warsaw. A uh, smaller town, and yeah, so I got my old gears here with me because I need to practice. And so yeah, I prefer to have like to clean my room, to sometimes get my beer or a drink or something, and then I decide like, okay, I'm gonna start with I don't know. M mostly I start with chord progression, like this is most important thing for me in a track. And then I just go with the flow, mostly. Sometimes, of course, I'm inspired, and when I hear a track that amazes me so much, then I'm like, okay, I need to do something with these vibes. But I don't like to copy as well, so I like to also add something from from myself. Is there? Is it um, mostly during nighttime where you yeah, do your music? Mostly. Yeah, I prefer I prefer doing music at night. Right, with a clean room. That's always good to have like your surroundings in order. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's very cool. You, wait, so wait, who do you who do you live with right now? You said you live with your parents or by? Or... Uh, I live by myself. By yourself. Also, but now it's uh, vacation, so I'm at my parents. Okay. Wow, twenty years old, living by yourself. Uh, because I'm uh, I'm I'm studying. Uh, so that's why I'm in Warsaw, and yeah. Wow. Nice. What are you studying? Well, actually, I was studying um, last year pharmacy, but after a few months, I dropped it. I just hated it so much. <laughs> yeah. And then I focused, uh, focused on my music, and now I'm going to study business. Okay. Nice. So do you want to like combine it, kind of the music and the business part, or you, is that going to be? Yeah, probably yes. Probably, probably yes. Actually, you know, this music business is—you never know. Sometimes you have good times, you have bad times. So it's better always uh, to to have some sort of plan B. And yeah. I think my study is my plan B. Of course, right. my, still my dream is to uh, earn money from my music, thanks to my music. But it sometimes it doesn't work out as we want it, right? So right, my right. plans are my plan B. Well, you kind of are. Don't you have shows and you have what's um? I was looking at your Facebook. Yeah. What's that okay. banner? Uh, okay, so uh, in Krakow, in like nine days, tenth uh, August, I'm doing a show and I will be supporting a guy called XXYYXX. I'm sure you know him. Yep. He's big. 
And yeah, I was lucky enough to get invited to play wow. before before his his gig. So that's my nearest uh, nearest uh, gig. Yeah. How nice. excited are you? That's of that's course, huge. Uh, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> Have you really, done now? How many? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna ask the same <laughs> same question. But yeah, I think uh, I was. I think it was. Have you done shows before? Or, like, how many shows have you done? Uh, only one. <laughs> oh wow. Only one, and but it was uh, kind of big thing because it was um, my debut show was at the festival, the biggest festival in Middle Europe. It's called wow. a uh, uh, Opener Festival, and this year, uh, like, Kings of Leon was playing there, and uh, Arctic Monkeys, and what else? Uh, Queens of the Stone Age as well, they played there, and me. <laughs> wow. And that was your first show? Uh, yeah, that was That's my first. <laughs> yeah, wow. I know. So it's <laughs> That's what's up. To be at that big festival, it's like, I, I think I can say that this festival is like Polish uh, Coachella, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's that big <laughs> for us. Well, then, that's it's great. Polish. That's that's a great look, especially for your first show. Like, that's exactly. amazing. Yeah, and thanks to this show, I got many other bookings. Like, I right. have around five in the future. Just like smaller shows? Yeah, smaller shows. In Poland only, of course. But, yeah. yeah. But it's still getting your name out there and it's still growing. Yeah. So how is it preparing for live shows? Because I'm sure it's different from creating. Yeah, it, yeah. I, actually, like it's. I love creating music. I love making music. But preparing for live show is is hard. <laughs> it's much different. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it, it it needs practice and time and. I still after after my, my first gig, my friends was recording me. You can also uh, watch some videos from my from my gig, and I saw that I need to correct so many things in my life mm -hmm. uh, life set. So I'm also that's also why why I bought my MacBook um, to get all my gears with with it because for life sets uh, having a PC is Kind of dangerous thing. It's crashing a lot. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> everyone. Yeah. <laughs> everyone that I've seen. Yeah, everyone that I've seen that have like live shows are always with a Mac. I've never seen yeah. a, a PC. And, and you know now why? Because PC is crashing a lot. Yeah. And it's. Well. You don't want to get you know your laptop crashed. Uh, during lecture, right? So. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everybody's feeling it, and then it just stops. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah, well, yeah. Well, that was your first show. It's not like you could have known. You know, you just got to experience it, and then yeah, that's, and that's true. Yeah. I I also wanted to you know entertain people, not to sit behind my laptop and just press some buttons. So. Yeah. Uh, my setup looked like I had uh, one synthesizer, so I played some keys, some leads, some chords, and uh, it was on my right and on my left I had uh, a drum pad and I played it with my drumsticks. So it's oh, kind of that's fun. <laughs> nice, <laughs> like that. That's so yeah, yeah. that's very different. I would love to see that. Yeah, too. exactly. I'm very curious I, about I, that. I, 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 I will link you to, to some videos. To the videos, nice. Yeah, nice. Definitely, and for everyone that's watching, we'll definitely hook you guys up with the link as well. Yeah. But um, yeah. but wow, I'm I'm very curious to see that now. <laughs> just because, <laughs> because no, that's crowd is having too. you know, there's difference between just playing live and actually you know being entertaining. You know, bring entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely that's definitely a good move. <laughs> yeah, I, I just knew from the beginning how I would like my life set to look, but of course it's still you want to you want to make it looks like look like that, but it doesn't work for all tracks. It depends on a track, mm -hmm. on the feeling and on you know progression and that stuff. So I still need to prepare much more. Right. Well, it's all a learning process. Yeah, and I bet the crowd is pumping you up too when you're. And I'm just starting, so. Yeah. Bye, Bye Stella. Sorry. 
<laughs> so aside from making music, what are you doing in like your free time? Uh, I'm doing music in my free time actually. I'm, I'm spending so much time. I wanna like um, shit. I forgot the word. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna yeah. I wanna dedicate. I wanted to dedicate my vacations to my music and you know make the most of it as I can before I start That's studies cool. and then I won't have as much time as I have now, so... Right. Right. How is it when you're in school? Like, how do you balance that? Well, uh, I don't know yet, because I will... This will be my first year, oh, and, okay. and... Yeah, I hope I will have enough time. When I was studying pharmacy, I had literally no time, because pharmacy is one of the toughest uh, course here yeah. in the like medicine, actually, so it's tough as hell. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I could never I do that. <laughs> Pharmacy and music, that's an interesting combination. Yeah. But business and music is, is good. I feel like you'll be able to get some in, like on weekends and stuff, if not, right? Yeah, sure. Hopefully, yeah. For sure. I still hope to get some, some little gigs uh, in autumn. Yeah, I also have some gigs in, in autumn, so... That's cool. So where would you like to see yourself, let's just say, in like five years? Where would you like to be? Five years? Well, I, five, have, five years. I, have, I have big aims, big dreams, big expectations. <laughs> That's the way to go. Well, my, the biggest one is brain feeder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that, that's a dream, and of course, no, but I would like to tour, do a little tour, tour in Europe. Yeah, that's my dream, I guess. For yeah. the five years, I hope I will achieve it. Have you been around Europe a lot? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, but uh, never, never done any show. Any shows, right. right. What about in the U.S.? Aren't you going to come entertain us too? <laughs> oh, I just have to go over there. To, of course, <laughs> and also since I've never been in the U.S. yet, so oh. I need to visit U.S. Definitely. Maybe, maybe to do some shows. It would be fun to do, you know, to visit place and do a show. Great, great feeling. Right. Because you know so many people that are in the U.S. too that you've been talking to. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and in the U.S. I feel like this kind of music I'm making is quite popular also, so... It definitely yeah. is. It's worldwide. And that's the yeah. great thing as far as, like, you know, about yeah. SoundCloud. You know, you're able to reach all those different fans from all over. Like, I, I, I wouldn't be where I am right now, and I think, like, many, many artists can say it without SoundCloud. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. so grateful to have this, this portal, I think I... I Call it like that, and yeah, it's all thanks to SoundCloud, I guess. I've met so many great people there as well. Yeah, the community, it's a community. is. I was just about to say. It, it, yeah, the community is 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 fantastic. You know what I mean? Like I love, and it. I like what you said earlier, the SoundCloud genre. Like it really has no title. It's just SoundCloud, but you know so much from SoundCloud. Though. Exactly. Just, you hear the track, and you know that it's like from SoundCloud artists. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And everyone's just supporting each other. And that's yeah. the best part. Yeah, that's true. Of course, there, there are haters everywhere. <laughs> but uh, oh, of course. most people of course. I've met was very uh, honorable. Yeah. And you're getting oh, big good. on there, too. Yeah. Are you kind of, like, taken aback, just like, whoa, like, uh, look how big I've... You know, I never expected to be so. I never big. expected like that, of course, and especially in that small amount of time. Because I yeah. remember, like in um, March, I had 300 followers. Now I have 4,030 around, like that. So that's when you started. What? That's when you like started your SoundCloud. Uh, March? I started it, I guess, last year, at the end of last year, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I posted some tracks very early. Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. And it was mostly this orchestral music. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, it was definitely film scoring. But even those, though, like... Would you be interested <laughs> in it? Like, if, if, someone, if someone approached you, like, hey, could you do oh, this for a film? Of course. It's also my dream. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think, like, score music is, like, 
different city, but this is where my heart is actually. Like those are my, are my roots. I recently made a track, Never Forget About Your Roots. It was also orchestral, and it because I um, from for the past three or four months I haven't been doing any orchest orchestral music, and I kind of forgot about my roots and how it started. So I made this track to to show people that I haven't forget about this orchestral music. Score thing. Right, and actually, Star Slinger. It also Star Slinger. Mm -hmm. And he liked mm -hmm. this, this track on SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm so excited. laughs> yeah SoundCloud, SoundCloud is a great thing. Like, uh, if you're a fan of someone on SoundCloud and they follow you, it's like, wow. Yeah, yeah my baby <laughs> Yeah, so also a very exciting thing. Right, people so, people see you, you know, you're out there, and um, especially, you know, a lot of people have been, like, Selection, you know, been posting your stuff, and a lot of people yeah, follow Selection, yeah, so. Yeah, exactly, like, I uh, I think that I have also so many follower, followers thanks to Selection. Mm -hmm. They supported me for, for a while, they are supporting me for, for a while, and I'm very grateful for that, because they, are, they have very loyal fans, and they have great fan base. You're yeah. very popular and getting more and more as well. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah. growing. Everything is growing. <laughs> yeah, everybody's yeah. getting a name out there. I know. Yeah. And it's very interesting. Like, I really feel the next wave is. Because like, before we didn't know what to call it, with genre, but I guess like the SoundCloud genre is really about to take over, I think, the whole industry. Yeah, right? I, 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 totally, I, mean, so. I totally agree with you. It's like. Um, I think that. Um, I would also say that from the beginning, James Blake started this kind of this kind of electronic music, and see how how big he's now. And I think that right. many people from this SoundCloud genre level uh, community will grow as big as him, and will be popular worldwide. Yeah. Um, I'm, Actually, sure about that. It's that the question who? <laughs> <laughs> right, of course. Yeah. yeah, that's a direction music is going on. I can, yeah. and everyone yeah. feels it. You know. Yeah. It's just gonna be really interesting the next few years. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> that's true, and we don't know what will be in vibe next year or not. Like for now, I think like like trap is very popular. I think like trap actually is a new dubstep. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah. exactly. I, I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah. <laughs> but there's something about there's something about like some of your some of your music. It's something about like, you know, it has like a R and B type vibe to it. Like it's really yeah. smooth. Yeah, those type of songs Yeah, those type of songs, I feel like those last those can outlast like a dubstep That's or true. I was also like I saw that I the amount of my follower, followers were growing so fast, but uh, it was a point where I forget to make like timeless music. You still need to remember to make timeless music, not to stick to or copy other artists and do what was made already a million times. Right? You need to be original. Exactly. And many artists forget forget about it. So. Right. I cannot forget about it as well. Sometimes I am forgetting because you know those those popular tracks, those popular schemas, music are popular and they uh, gain you fans and stuff like that. But it's not what it is all about, right? Right, and you're staying true to it yeah. too. And you said you're combining a lot of your like more classical stuff. You want to do yeah. that with electronics? Yeah, 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 exactly. I I love experiment. That's and that's new. Not not that's anyone is really doing yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, but sometimes you know you don't have as many listeners as you have on the tracks that are more into this vibe, which yeah. is yeah, right. Yeah. And at the same time, big names like Star Singer was like, yeah, he liked your and you were so surprised. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's that's true, but it's very hard to to make a track that um, many people will like and yeah. will be still original. It's very hard to do that. Right. Definitely. Well, we 
Well, when you create, do you create it more so like, oh, I really like this, or most so I think the fans will like this? Just curious. Uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But I, but I try to I try to make music that I like, not that others like. Yes. Yeah. Right, right, right. But I yeah. uh, after after I make a track, I need to instantly send it to my closest friends to you know to know their their opinion about it and to get some tips and stuff like that. Yeah. That's yeah. why I also love SoundCloud because you know I've met their people who really understand my style and uh, who are giving me great hints on on my new tracks. And I'm doing it for my other friends as well. So we help each other, which is which is which is amazing. Do your friends have the same um, taste in music as you do? Like, uh, my friends, uh, not uh, well, <laughs> not really. <laughs> they, are more, they are much more into 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 oh. indie music, into, oh, okay. into indie music actually. Yeah, but my friends love Disclosure. <laughs> I love it too, and yeah. And but my friends are so 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 supportive. And where uh, when I had my gig, there they were they were they were all standing, uh, you know, under the stage and shouting my name and singing. Oh. <laughs> oh, they were just great. Yeah, really. And it's good to get um, like an outsider's perspective. People that don't listen to the same type of music as you do, or like have different tastes, it's still yeah, good to actually, get that you opinion. Know, because, uh, people, I'm, especially in Poland, still this song called genre music isn't popular. But uh, because they are my friends, I'm showing them some of my tracks. Like when we drive somewhere with, in my car, and I have on my CDs some of uh, SoundCloud's music, they're like, OMG, this is cool, great, what is what yeah. is this? So, yeah, I guess that if people got the chance to listen to that stuff more, they would definitely be a fan. Right, because that's what it is, they just don't, they haven't heard it yet, but everyone that hears it is just like, what is this? This is great. Exactly, and I exactly. still don't know how to get like many amount of people to listen to that music. It's right. not like promoting is difficult thing. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to do Agreed. that. We're trying to get everyone's name out there, you know. I feel like everyone just wants exactly. to spread it because it's so it's yeah. such a great thing. Yeah, but still we have YouTube which is which is good. Mm -hmm. Because not many people know yet actually that SoundCloud exists in right. Poland, I would say. <laughs> which is surprising. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, but uh, YouTube knows everyone, so they prefer sometimes when they post music uh, on their Facebook wall, they, they prefer uh, YouTube links than SoundCloud links. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but they just do that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely started off Good on YouTube, tip. and then I went to SoundCloud, because YouTube is just like a universal thing. You know, mm -hmm. everyone knows it. Yeah, yeah. like I... I've known about SoundCloud, but I just joined recently. But that's a good tip, though. Like YouTube. I mean, I knew YouTube had more pull, but just saying in general, more people yeah. are more acceptable to music from YouTube than I guess from SoundCloud. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Because you got the big video thing. It's very simple. SoundCloud is just like all these little. Yeah. It looks it looks complicated, but it's really not. But for yeah. people that haven't been on it. And so I also think that like some people think, okay, I'm gonna post something from SoundCloud, but I don't, I, I won't, will, I won't have widget of it, so I'm not gonna post it. <laughs> but Do you have a big YouTube? <laughs> have a widget from SoundCloud, of course you have. Do you have a big YouTube channel? Mm, my own YouTube channel, yeah, I have, I have one. I started one actually because I posted some videos from from my gig. Okay. So what about I, just like songs? Uh, no, I I don't post my my songs actually on SoundCloud. Uh, I'm leaving that to all YouTube channels with music. <laughs> they they do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Like my What about um? Stuff. What about like music videos? Have you ever thought of like putting together one for like a song or yes, something like that? Yes, actually, they were, there were plans to make a music video for uh, "Let Me Go Up," the track from my EP. And actually, I also already had uh, filmmakers, and we already had a plan as kind of you know, short screenplay, but. 
uh, we didn't got time to, to do it and I don't know I but I hope that in future I will have a video it's always better you know for listeners and you know people, people prefer to um, hear the music with 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 the pictures, with the movie, with something, something that we'll see. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to lie in video, so <laughs> 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 I'm gonna wait till I till I get go good filmmaker and with, you know, good gears and stuff. Good idea. First Do you have anything in mind at all? Like uh, first, I need to know which track I, uh, for which track I would like would like to have a video. I still don't know. Oh, you don't have that like no. one specific track where you just like have this no, whole vision. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no. <laughs> well, yeah, I have, I have some, but I still don't know. Mm. You're still thinking it through. Pretty yeah, much. exactly. Uh, I'm making this EP for Polish uh, label, and probably I will get a video for one track from this EP. But I'm still making this EP, so I don't know uh, which track would be the best for the video. We'll see. Definitely, we will see. So you know, definitely let us know. We definitely want to share that. Yeah. <laughs> so. If you could work, you know, with any musician, you know, rather, you know, they're alive or not, who would you want to work with? Anyone throughout okay. time. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, okay. Most definitely. Um, I would actually like to produce music for Ciara and for Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got the R&B feel there. Afraid. Yeah, I like this R&B part. And from this SoundCloud artists, if I would like to work with someone, it would be Taku, definitely, mm -hmm. and Kate Renata, yeah, mm -hmm. those two. Okay, definitely. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of potential there because under like sound, I mean, they're under selection or Taku, so yeah, yeah. Well, that's what's up. I mean, yeah, I could definitely. Two, two weeks ago, uh, I've met I've met Ketra because he was in Poland and we we spoke for a few minutes. So it was cool to meet him finally. Right. Wow. All the way, he was all the way in Poland. I really love his 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 music. So uh, sorry. Yeah. I said he was all the way in Poland. Yeah, he had like a tour in in Europe. I think it was like he had two already this year. He had two tours in Europe and now wow. he's having a tour in Australia. Like he's he's living my dream, literally. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're on your way there. You know, you just like you just started. I mean, in March you said you didn't have that many followers. Look how far you are now. You know. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. I hope it will, you know, race constantly. Like yeah, they're doing huge shows with XXYYXX. That's yeah. That's awesome. Hey, it's just the beginning though, as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I'm so curious to know, like, what was your feeling when you got your first thousand plays? Like, you know what I mean? And you were just like, oh my gosh, like, what were you thinking? Oh, well, <laughs> I was like, I don't remember really. I was, uh, I was so, I was the most excited after I got a hundred followers. I remember that feeling. Really. <laughs> it was so exciting, like, you know, because I, I had like, uh, Less than less than hundred for a very long long time, mm -hmm. uh, and having hundred followers was great because now like I have this thousand followers, but then in two weeks I have two thousand followers. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you know, I I get I got that feeling only for a little amount of time, right. but like next step is five thousand followers. Wow. <laughs> I probably will have it. So it depends on people, not me, of course. But yeah, this would be great feeling. Yeah. Five thousand and ten thousand and so on, so on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna grow from yeah, there but, anyway. But this is this is great. This is great, really. Like, without my fans, without people who support me, without all of the great messages I got, I really don't think I will. Be still, um, you know, and no, I I will be doing this this anywhere anywhere 
anyway, but I this won't be as excited as it is, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something about like what is music to you? Serious. Because <laughs> it seems like music se like you can already tell just from that whole you know, snippet just right there. Like music means a lot, you know what I mean? But from your yeah. own words, like what does it mean to you? My own words for me it's Actually, it's, it's everything. It's like uh, it it heals me so much whenever I feel bad. I know that music is the place I can I can hide. I can hide my feelings. I can hide my emotions. I can exp uh, first of all I can express it through my music. And whenever I'm sad, whenever I'm happy, actually, or or in love, I first thing I do is make music or listen to music or yeah it's literally everything to me mm -hmm. like without it I would die <laughs> honestly <laughs> yeah we don't want that but uh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever you're feeling you can just put it into music yeah totally yeah. and it's always been a part of you too because you were doing it when you're so young you know it's always going to be there yeah, for sure. I'm sure about that. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Zalton, do you have any more questions, though? Um, yeah, I have one more question. Okay, so I was, I don't know, I don't even know if I can pronounce his name, but um, I was looking at your SoundCloud bio, and it said you're inspired by Ruichi Sakamoto. Yeah. So yeah. Tell, us, tell us about that, or like why. Yeah, so actually he's the reason why I, start, I started making music. Hmm. Uh, he, I don't know if you, if you heard about him, uh, he's a Japanese composer, he makes uh, movie scores and he's a piano player, great piano player, and I don't know, do you know maybe the film Bubble, it's with Brad Pitt? Bubble, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he also composed uh, music to, to that film. Uh, great score, great movie, and yeah, actually it was, um, I was around, like like I told you, 15, and I heard his uh, his track, uh, one of his track, and it totally blew me away, and then I decided to learn this track, and I spent two whole nights learned this track and then I played it and I was like, OMG, that's what I want to do. I want to make such beautiful music. So that's it. Wow. And he's still a great master for me. Like, He will always be my biggest inspiration. Right. And I owe him big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's crazy. Awesome. It'd be dope to have a collaboration with him, you know? You oh, know. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah, two whole nights. So then after that, you just like, was that all you could think about? Just like, I need to master this. Like, I need to get yeah, this. That, yeah, yeah, it was like that. Actually, normally I'm a super lazy person, but <laughs> I just I just had to learn this track. And actually, if I, if you tell me to, to play this track now, I don't remember at all how to play it. And <laughs> if I have to learn it again, I, it would... I would spend like a month or, or more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, you know, this trance when I had to do it and I did it. I was so proud of myself as well. So that's like the best feeling, you know, exactly. putting so yeah. much of your heart into it and then finally yeah, and, and, master it. The result is, is, is great. Yeah. Now I can see why you, you know, after that you're like, I'm going to do this forever. I'm gonna, I want to be in music after mastering yeah. that. It was like, you know, I finally um, realized what I want to do in my life. What's yeah. my passion? It's nice. So, and you're going to make it happen, as we already see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's exciting, actually, the feeling. The feeling that finally people are listening to my track. Like, I'm not only making it, it for myself. But that people appreciate it, appreciate my heart. Actually, yeah, it's it's not easy easy work making music. It's a hard work, of course. Mm -hmm. But I'm super enjoying it. 
every every part of it. So. And that's the way to that's the way to do it. You know what yeah. I mean? You gotta love it to do it the right way anyway, because people people know when you're not genuine about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's up. So. Any more questions? Huh? Just no, just had my last question. Okay. Well, um, my next question, you can't, you already summed it up. <laughs> Music is everything. So, <laughs> like, you summed it up on a few different tips. So, that's right about it. But um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. You know, I appreciate everyone. Yo, thank you, Chloe, very much thank for you your so time. Much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very much, Melania and Selena. All the way from yeah, Poland. Thank you. Yeah, thank All you. All the way from Poland. And <laughs> we got to learn so much about you. You know what I mean? From your background to your history, everything. So yeah. to film score. So we look forward to um checking out more and definitely keep us updated too. I will so. definitely most definitely. Definitely. All right. Well thank you all for tuning in with thank Chloe you. Martin. My name is Marty. I'm Sonia. And, and I'm Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank you all for tuning in. We will Talk to you guys later. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you again.